Good morning once again. Today we are doing a pool. So we tried to, uh, we just checked the measurements. That one's like the exact height of the roof of the carport. So we're going to have to dig it out with the four tonner. Pull the soil out the front with the bobcat. Another beautiful day. I'm hoping uh, we can get this done in one day because we're extremely busy and um, I'm helping him out with no notice. Just, I think his other bloke let him down. So we'll see how we go. Always let a bit of air out in the morning. Stop some moisture build up. All right, we'll see you at the job. So that was not a good start to the day. Uh, the owner measured that and it was meant to be 2.6, but it's only 2.4. So now we've got to go get the 1.8 ton and probably take the roof off. I think it's right on 2.4, so we've got to check it. So we've loaded back up. There's the pool ready to go. Ready for a summer party. Anyway. We'll see you at the farm, one thing at a time. All right, take two. So Scotty's measured this one. Says we've got 20 mil clearance. So that saves us taking the roof off. So we should be good to go, hopefully. Boom. I love these ramps. The problem is my little truck, I think the alternator is too small. So every uh, six months, we've got to swap the batteries, even though we leave it running. But luckily the batteries I use, um, even though they're dead, they do come back to life. They're not even long life or anything, but yeah, they work pretty good. Can't tell, Daniel's probably got one of the easiest jobs in the history of mankind sometimes. Ooh, he's like a wise old man. Make sure you watch everything, Daniel, all right? Boom. Big ones are sleeping today. Top shelf 
All right, this is the big moment. If it doesn't go through, then we've got to take the roof off. And uh, really can't be bothered. So that has to get under that. Based off the measurements, we've got about 20 mil to play with, so it's not much. Not bad, not bad. Good correction at the end there. Ready to go. Alright, so we're not having a good run. The plans have been changed twice and we haven't even dug a hole yet. But eventually, we're going to get digging here. It's amazing, this small hole here will be about seven to eight truck loads. So, for anyone working out soil, anything you dig out, you do per cubic metre and then you times it by 1.4 for the aeration because it fluffs up once you dig it. We want to see an end to this pipe, Daniel son. If it keeps going, then we're going to have to put all those bricks back. Well, it's going somewhere. Keep going, keep going. Oh, wait a minute, that's it. Yep, happy. Just double check that um, there's no sprinkler in it. I got Maggie. If there's no sprinkler, then we can just pull the whole thing out. It is going to be in there. Look, it's it's at the tap there. Should I? But at the end of the day, that like we're gonna have to rerun it all anyway. Who's side of it? Yeah, but it's gonna go through there and say into the pool. Like it's gonna have to. Yeah, then might. Do I keep going? Yeah, yeah, pull it up. See if there's a. No, we're good. It just goes from there to there, over the path. Yep, that's what we want. That's the best scenario. Height is confirmed. So I'm gonna have to come up through here. Just build a little bit of a ramp. So these are quite loose. I'm just gonna have to be as careful as I can, but.
Thank you. Beautiful. mistake do not leave the ramps in the truck when you load it up and now we've got a traffic jam here yeah, look all right so we got there lucky i bring daniel to do some filming because if i didn't i uh definitely wouldn't have been getting those out myself we think that yourself yeah <laughs> uh, it's all fun and games
I think they might have uh, tricked us because they told us the crane was coming at five. So I've had to take the dirt somewhere else because the tip was closed. And that's an hour out, so it's 10 past. So we'll be there until about 5.30 if there's no crane there. I think they've searched us. Pretty funny. Anyway, at least we're making money. All right, all done. Pool's still here. No crane, we've been catfished. Bye. See ya. Cleaned up as best we could. We've got some clothes on the line, so. Looking good? Yeah, it's great. Where's the crane, boss? 6.30. Oh, you're joking. Spewing, we wanted to stay and watch. All done. Do you normally work big days like this? Yeah. Well, you must be getting good money, huh? All right, we're going on a stealth mission to see if there's a crane going over this house. It's 50-50. Nah, it's probably more 70-30, 70% not happening, but I don't know, some people might be crazy and want to work all night. You never know. Personally, I'm exhausted. I've been up since 5 a.m. I'm exhausted. But we'll go there and film it anyway. I'll see you when we're there. <laughs> well, he's still here, but there's no crane. This guy's crazy, man. Why can't I get workers like that? They just want to work 16 hour days all, all the time. <laughs> I have to go laugh at him. <laughs> Let's go. Yep, we got catfished. <laughs> he reckons it's not coming today and now it's not even coming tomorrow. So they got us good. Luckily I had the job um, where I could take the soil to, otherwise it wouldn't have happened. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. God bless. I'm going to bed, and I will see you on the next one.